Hey everyone, hope you're all doing super well. The last few days have been crazily busy and a lot of progress has been made. I've been working to finish off the artwork and the production for my Caravan Sarai stories that I crowdfunded through Kickstarter just before the beginning of this year. You know, it's an example of me Tahir Shah biting off far more than I can chew. But I'm really, really proud with the result. I had decided to do eight books or eight stories from a caravanserai in the desert. And this is one of the rare times that I've, I've controlled the entire project from the format, to the artwork, to the stories themselves, to everything else about them. And it's really pushed me <laughs> because I'm not an artist. And what has been fun is uh, having a steep learning curve. I said once to someone, and it's in a book of mine, one of my books, that a life without steep learning curves is no life at all. And I kind of live by that mantra. Something else that happened this week, and it's still under wraps, but I'm sharing it now, is that Sherazad Foundation has helped the Ethiopian government to acquire, or we have acquired, part of a treasure, a small part of an immense treasure that was stolen from Ethiopia by the British in 1868. If anyone knows their Ethiopian history, or the British Victorian history. The British stormed um, a stronghold of Emperor Theodros in Magdala in Ethiopia in 1868 and absolutely destroyed, you know, the, the Ethiopian encampment and the Emperor Theodros killed himself and the Brits just under Napier took everything and whatever they couldn't carry, they, uh, they burnt. And Sherazad Foundation, working with the Ethiopian government, has um, <clears throat> acquired a, um, an, a very ancient Ethiopian handwritten Bible in Gez, the ancient language of Ethiopia, and some beakers as well, which are small, but they're of incredible historic importance to Ethiopia. So we're really, really proud that this is part of our kind of charge to bridge cultures. We're doing it um, in a way that we believe there's a win-win for Ethiopia and for Britain as well. And we're just so thrilled to be able to play a very small part. Um, so that has taken up a lot of my time in the last week or two. and. With Sherazad, things are moving on incredibly well. I'm so proud of our team, and I'm so proud that um, that the mission, you know, to bridge cultures, to empower young women, and to harness the teaching power of folklore, that those those three goals are standing us in extraordinary stead as we move forward with Sherazad. Um, you know, into the summer and then into the autumn. I'm, I'm immensely happy and proud and you'll be hearing a lot more about that very soon.